come and take a look at this. Sunny weather, no rain. The last two videos I did in the new workshop, the rain was pouring down and I, you know, I just had to live with it. You had to live with it. And uh, uh, it's just such a luxury not to have pouring rain. Relatively quiet, we've still got a pump going over there for the water jet cutter, um, but a lot better than it's been. Now, in the last video in the workshop I did, not yesterday, but the day before, I was making this button here. What I did is, once I ended that video, I kept um, messing around with this bit of software, and I've got something to show you. But before I show you that, this software here, how it works is, uh, you, I'll show you. It's, it's not like, it's not a manual mill, so it's not just like turning wheels and things, but it's not full of CNC. You don't put in a 3D part and it creates this awesome contour thing. That software doesn't do that. I can get software that will input into there and do it. What you have to do is this kind of thing. So if I do F8, one, and you take a look at this. So you can see it does do kind of 3D stuff, but it's kind of very basic and that kind of thing. Take a look at this. So that, as you can see, is like a 3D contoured button, like an actual uh, like 3D thing, not just like 2D up and down, left and right, forward and backwards. It's It's got like, kind of a, it's, it's like, a, like a half sphere kind of thing, or a quarter sphere. How I had to do that on this program is, I say, hey, mill down to here, and then mill up to there. And then I say, do that again, but one degree round. And again, one degree round. And so it does like, it goes like, doot, 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 in sort of 360 degrees, and you end up with that. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, that, that button's way too thick, so I'm going to skim it down uh, to a flat again, so I'm going to skim off what I did there, I went 2 mil down, I'm going to skim off those 2 mil, make it flat, and I'm going to do it again because it was hugely inefficient, it went, like I, I, I milled down and I went up, and I came all the way back, slowed down, and then did it again. I want to try and find out, um, I want to try and find a more efficient way to do it, and I think I've got a way to do it, and hopefully you can sort of see what I'm explaining just now, because this, the way I've explained it might not make it clear, but once you see this, it should be clear for you. there is a line 
just here. You see that? You see that line going all the way across? I think that's because I sort of plunged too deep initially, then went round, and uh, you know I should have done another pass just around that area. I'm not quite sure, but you know it's certainly um, it's certainly smooth. I speeded the filming up for you there, but you can see there's just almost no machining lines. Really smooth. Um, the button is going to be a little bit thick, but I think that's okay. And this is the other side. So that was so I made that square just to clamp it in the in the vise. So what I need to do now is try and clamp it like this. I should be able to clamp it on the round. I'm not making a proper grip to hold it. I should make a round sort of vice kind of holder, soft jaws I think they call it, so I can hold this perfectly. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna sort of wing it today, hold that roughly, and make this circular, um, two steps. And then that should be, um, that should be a button, a very thick button, but a button nonetheless. I'm just gonna answer a YouTube question or two from the comments. Do you have a company logo that you plan to put on the buttons for your spinners, or will they have some other design or just blank? On the button, just blank for sure. Uh, I don't know if I'll put my, my logo on anything. I tend not to do that. Why is your company's name Cogent Industries? Like, does Cogent mean something to you? Cogent's a, it's a dictionary word, C-O-G-E-N-T. It's, uh, it means like a well-rounded argument, like a, a concise, well-rounded, well well-reasoned argument. And I thought that sort of, you know, that's part of the reason you're like, uh, when I make stuff, it's, you know, there's nothing fancy, there's no anything like that. It's just, you know, it makes sense, it's simple, it's elegant, it's minimalist. And uh, yeah, that's, that's part of the reason. The other reason is, you know, it's a very solid word, it's a very underused word. There are kind of a few reasons for cogent. You know what, I think I'll just call it that. I'm going through comments, but there's a lot of repeat comments and repeat questions, which I've answered over the last sort of week or two, you know, just the price of spinners and stuff like that. I, I don't see the point in repeating it. I'll sort of try and just focus on questions that haven't been asked before. One step, two step. Uh, the light isn't that great for you, but hopefully you can see that. So this is the old copper button that would have been in here. So I take that off. I then put this one on here. Now that really is how far it sticks up. I need to push it down. Just to give you an idea, this is just a, a representation of what it's gonna look like, like once I do the buttons properly. That's more like it. Finally, 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 after, oh, doesn't even spin. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. It's loose fitting, just, that's okay. Look, like I said, this is just an experiment. It's loose fitting, but, you get the idea of it? Just aesthetics just now, I think that's looking pretty smart. It's still a machined finish. This, is, this has been sort of uh, tumbled or ground or whatever, this hasn't. But that gives you a better idea. I mean, I think that looks infinitely better than the copper, but that's just my personal preference. And because it's my personal preference, that's probably what I'm gonna offer for sale. I think I will call it a day at that. I will leave you with a quote, it is by Socrates, and he said, Be slow to fall into friendship, but when you are in, continue firm and constant. <laughs>